what do you feel like you have uh, learned through that process to, so hopefully by now that you're, it's hard to find that perfect employee. Sure. But what are some safeguards that you've tried to put into place from the retail side to filter some of these people out so that you can get a better opportunity at a more quality employee? So the one thing now is I do not ignore red flags. And I have a, uh, I usually only have about a one or two strike policy now. Like here recently, I had to get rid of an employee, great kid, nothing against him personally. I like him, but he was given no effort. Um, like I said, I try to create a family environment and culture. A uh, little quick story, I ordered some Abercrombie jeans. They didn't fit right. They were a little too small. He's a smaller guy. I said, hey, man, here's three pairs of jeans. You know, it's $260 worth of stuff. Uh, think you would like them. They don't fit me right. Give them to him. He's all thankful. The very next shift, he closes the store an hour early thinking I'm not going to come. And, you know, and it was, a, it was a busy day. Yeah. And I end up, I show up at, we close at 7. I always check on the store. But I roll up at like 6.15 and my door is locked and the lights are off. So I open it back up. And, of course, I have two or three customers come in while I'm there. So I had to let him go. And and that's the thing I run into now is it's like people don't care. Yeah. But I still believe, and I won't stop, showing people appreciation mm-hmm. and rewarding and gifting those that I feel are deserving. If I think that someone's doing a good job, especially in today's kind of culture, like they need to be let known that they're doing a good job because um, I feel like we hyper fixate on all the bad. Absolutely. So I try to, like even with him, I gave him his talking to, I, he bought some stuff, still gave him the employee discount that day, and then asked for my key and just told him, like, hey, man, it's no beef. We're boys. I'll dap you up every time I see you, but, like, you're not reciprocating the energy. Mm-hmm. And I just have to find someone who does because, like, like I said, I try to build a culture. Like, I don't – I maybe it's nothing to other people, but I didn't give him those genes to try and bribe him to be a good yeah. employee. I gave it to him because, like, when you work for me, I, we are boys. Like, in my head, we're in this together. Yeah. Because I'm giving, you know, I'm if we do great in sales, you're getting a cash bonus at the end of the month. If I eat, you eat kind of thing. Like, sure. So that's why I, uh, that's why I take offense to that kind of stuff and why I have a short tolerance to it now. Because I just, my job is, is very much a part-time job. It's very much going to be just a stepping stone till you get to your career. But I aim to be the best boss you've ever had, the coolest job you've ever had. Right. Like, I really try to make heavyweights an enjoyable place to be. What do you think, um, if you could lay out some things for our youth today? It doesn't even have to be our youth, young adults. What are a couple of great qualities? If, if somebody can master these two or three qualities to be the very best employee, and, and I'm not talking about we're working till our fingers are bleeding or mm-hmm. that we're in a sweatshop. What would you say are some good traits that you're looking for? Or if somebody wants to level up their game, because I can imagine the connections that you have if you had a great employee that was leveling up their game constantly, and you know they're stepping stone going to whatever's next, of what your recommendation or reference would mean to somebody. So to to prep them for that, what are a couple of things you think would be would make an excellent employee? Okay. Um I tell you one thing that I think would help just the youth, especially when it comes to an employee or just them in general, is if they could suspend the want for instant gratification. That's the thing that I've kind of noticed with the people that work for me is if they're not getting, you know, a bonus in that second, it it doesn't matter. Like, cause I do I do a cash bonus every month at the end of the month, and they're super grateful for it when it comes. But when you try to remind them of it, like, hey, you need to put in this work. Because in the, at the end of this month, it will increase your cash bonus. Well, it doesn't really seem to mean shit in that moment because they're yeah. not getting anything then. And that's the one thing I have so noticed. So does it make you feel that when you give it to them that it really was pointless money that I gave? No, because if they're not doing their stuff, I don't. I, I, re, I regulate it down. And I let them know. Like I, I, uh, I try not to be one of those at the very end be like, well, you didn't do this. Like I try to be like, hey, guys, you need to post. You need to do this. I need – because you got to lead still. I can't sure. expect just because there is a uh, prize at the end of the race that they're always going to do 100%. Well, that's, a, that's a good point for other business owners to uh, really take note of is that if you're not leading, you can't expect these lofty results at right. the end of the month. I mean, yeah. you have to lead. So you have a role in running your business, 
but also you've got to hire the right people and they've got to want to make it happen. I've learned that not everybody's motivated by money. Um, Mm -hmm. Although they, they want the nice things. Sometimes it may be time off for other things. It's not always about money. So what have you done? So you got the business in 2015. You've been there for nine years. Talk to me kind of about where you've been able to show a progression of being able to take the business. Cause I'm sure you have ideas and you've got everybody and their mother calling you trying to sell you on their product. Mm-hmm. You got to get it in here and you got to get this much of it at one time because it's going to be the latest and greatest. 